Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm from Canada. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller unit. If you just want to prepare your Arduino IDE to uh, write simple program, I have a separate video for that. The link will be below this video. This is a full detailed explanation of Node MCU with all inputs and outputs voltages and I'm going to explain the hardware, I'm going to explain the data sheet, different types of the board and then we are going to learn simple uh, blank program after that we are going to check different uh, input and outputs, GPIO pins and also we will run a simple HTTP request so this module can send an information over the web or receive information you can get the code and link for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description let's get started with this Internet of Things have revolutionized the, the industry uh, because of added capability of connectivity of different devices, even from kitchen to industry to labs, different equipment can be connected, monitored, or logged the data in a remote location or a server for processing, monitoring, security, and many other reasons. ESP8266 is a microcontroller with Wi-Fi built-in in the same module by Espressive systems. This is a microcontroller similar to Arduino. You can program it, uh, but with the add on features. There are a lot of similarities. For example, it has input and output, and pen, pens can be programmed, but it has different features which I'm going to explain. So keep that in mind that uh, if you are familiar with Arduino IDE, this will be very easy for you. With a price of 7 to 25 dollars, which you can get it from. Amazon, AliExpress, or eBay, this is an excellent choice for learning and developing. And also in practical applications, the module can be used. ESP8266 is offered such that you can directly uh, solder your pens or wires and program it or solder it on a PCB, or it is sold as a mo development module like Node MCU and D1 Mini and many other different variations of this module. You can connect devices wirelessly through Wi-Fi, either within the same network in the same environment or over the internet remote location. So, you, for example, you can send temperature, a position of something, a sensor, whatever value you have, you can transmit it continuously or a certain interval, whatever way you program it. And also you can send information from outside or within the network back to microcontroller. I'm going to show you how to get 3.3 volts or 5 volts how to connect external power to this device and then we are going to do some uh, examples. These are all based on the same chip with different variation and label ESP8266. This microcontroller chip is made by SPRSF. Their website SPRSF Systems. This is the main module and people are offering it into different sizes. For example, you might get it at this size or you might get it a smaller size but all of these will have almost identical specification because the main chip inside is inside this one is ESP8266 and here this one has the Espressif logo with Wi-Fi and here is the frequency and everything is written this is smaller and this is larger and here there is a small and large of this type which has AI on it and this one has AI two are also they put they, they created for WMS again this is ESP8266 this is called D1 and this is also the D1 and this one has a different logo but the whole point is that these are the same chip and the same microcontroller the same software will work and on the board we have nine digital pens D0 up to D8. At the middle we have 3.3 volts and this is TX or X and then again 3.3 volts. The when the 5 volts come here via USB it goes to 3.3 volts that will supply uh, power for this and for the chip and if you're not using this USB you can connect the external 5 volts to this pen which goes to this 3.3 volt regulator and it will just work fine. The same way for the small one we have VN and here this is analog pen we have one analog pen here 
not unlike Arduino which has multiple pins this one has only one analog pin uh, if you pay attention we have a chip here on this shape and in these two we have this square chip this is CP2102 for the USB and this one is CH340 and this is the data sheet here are the key features for the Wi-Fi the frequency is 2.4 GHz this is not the 5.8 GHz and the lower frequency and uh, that also affects the bandwidth but it can work with the B, G and N type support here are other details like TX power or X sensitivity and protocols type of CPU and the rest is here we're not going to have a look at those I will provide you the link in case if you need further information operating current is important for us because it consumes 80 milliampere at uh, normal operation and operating voltage is 2.5 to 3.6 volts this will operate with 3.3 volts because we have voltage regulator of 3.3 Here I have a voltmeter, one wire ground is connected in here, ground, and let me connect the positive of this to the to this pin, which is 3 volts, it's 3.3 volts, and let me connect the USB. You will see that we are getting 3.3 volts from this pin. And if you need to get 5 volts, you can get the positive connected to this UVU. To this pen from this side the third one so that is 5 volts from this pen We're operating uh, this device this 5 volts is directly connected to USB but you can power this up from external source from this pen let me connect this for example this back to 3.3 volts as you can see we have 3.3 volts but now this is my external power here I'm connecting the ground to the ground to this pen ground has been connected to this pen and here I have 5 volts as soon as I connect it as you can see we are getting 3.3 volts from this pen without USB same is true either for both of these module this Wi-Fi with AI and Wi-Fi with a thumb top type sign both of these has VU VU so you can connect external power via VN and here with these however you will not be able to get 5 volts output from this but you can connect VN let me show you first the voltage ground and then 3.3 .3 volts if I connect USB if I connect USB you will see 3.3 .3 volts and if I move this to other pen anywhere that is written as 3.3 .3, here this pen I can get 3.3 .3 volts and if I connect external power we can connect to the VN and this is external power we are getting 3.3 .3 volts and the module the module is now on without USB so again for this module with AI and this module with the thumb they are exactly the same but with comparing to this module they are smaller I will provide you the link you will come to this page actually we are looking to this address copy it so I am just copying it and then go to Arduino go to file preferences and at this area if you have more or less if you have more just click here so you can uh, control V paste it that's the address click OK and then click OK now go to tools boards board manager wait for this to complete and then then type here 
ESP8266 and it says ESP8266 and here there is the install, click install wait for this to complete now it shows installed and this portion is completed now we need to select the board click tools board board and then scroll down until you see generic ESP8266 this is 8285 8266 select that it takes few seconds and it's ready Now we are going to select the port by clicking at the tools and then here the port you select the COM port. If you don't know what is your COM port on the start menu right click go to device manager and then scroll down until you see ports COM click on this arrow so it collapses and you see my COM port is 11 COM 11 now I'm disconnecting the USB you will see that it disappears now if I connect it again you will see that it will appear back COM11 so go to tools COM port and then 11 is selected if not select the port that you see in here Now the examples will be available under the file examples and ESP8266 is here you can go to blank and this is a simple blank that we will upload now this is for Arduino Uno and it will work the same way exactly with this module uh, let's upload it Let me bring this up so you can see. It's compiling it the same way as an Arduino Uno. I'm just scrolling so you can see it. Once it's completed, as you can see, the LED starts blinking. And LED built in, this is a constant defined, and it will, it will just work fine with this as well. And here I'm connecting another LED separately that can be between 300 ohm to maybe 1 kilo ohm. I'm using a 1 kilo ohm. The value of this is not important because if you put larger value, you will reduce the intensity of light of LED and you will point reach to, reach to a point that the LED will turn on, let's say if you go to 3 kilo ohm or more, or 2 kilo ohm. So keep it uh, between these values with the 3.3 ohm, even, even you can go for 200 ohms. But I just put 1 kilo ohm and this goes to the positive to the pen that I will send the signal so from microcontroller it comes here and the pen is connected in here and it goes to this point and this LED has two pens the longer pen is the positive the other one is the negative this is called anode the other is cathode and from the shorter pen I have gray wire this gray wire is going to the ground and here gray is connected to the ground and this one I'm going to connect it to D1. And here, in order to use the pens easily and do not get confused, we could use this mapping. I took this from one of the repositories from GitHub that is for ESP8266. So these are the GPIO pen number. This is GPIO 4, 5, 16, and so forth. Because the board have been labeled as D1, D2, D3, and so forth, 
it would be easy for us to use this one without looking at the, at the table. So you can copy this and paste it in your codes if you want to use them. And here I've used it here and I'm using D1. As you can see D1 is GPIO5 and it will work fine. And here, once the code is uploaded, the ready is blinking perfectly with this value that I use D1 because it has been mapped to pen GPIO5. Now let's see how we can use a HTTP client. What is it used for? For example, you have a temperature sensor that is monitoring temperature of a liquid or something or a room. And then this is connected to a Wi-Fi module, which is Node MCU in this case, which has ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. And then in order to monitor this temperature and do something, you need a, a server, for example, in this case, dynamic data analysis systems server which receives the data and responds accordingly. So the temperature is measured by the Wi-Fi module or by the node MCU, and then it sends it in a certain interval, let's say every second, every few seconds, every minute, every hour, or whatever, or when the temperature is above certain value, below certain value, or some sensor, other sensor, the door is open, the temperature should be sent. Whatever you want, you can program it. So the data is sent to the server. And the server can be programmed to respond according to the data, either respond same thing to all or respond if the temperature is, let's say, above certain value, respond in one way, below certain value, respond other way. So, for example, you have a, a heater that is heating a chemical and the temperature sensor is sending continuously and you want to see if the temperature is above 80 degrees uh, you want to reduce the temperature, the heater. So the DDAS server responds back, let's say with the code 532. 532 means decrease. So this data comes back to the Wi-Fi and it sends it to the heater and the heater will reduce the temperature. And then the temperature sensor is now is sending back and it, 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 when it is below the value, it doesn't send the value to control the heater or reduce it. It just keep it in the same value that was sent. If it is above, it sends another value, reduces. So this heater can be directly controlled with this. So this is a feedback, um, but also the server, this is the job of the server that remotely can control this. Or this can be also an app that somebody is monitoring on a phone, on a big screen or somewhere, and they can control or take action. So there are a lot of possibilities. Now let me give you an example of using this as an HTTP client. And HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. What it means is that because it can get connected to the Wi-Fi and from Wi-Fi to the internet, it can access any other computer anywhere in the world. Let's open an example by clicking at File, examples, scroll down until you see ESP8266 HTTP client and go with the basic HTTP client. Once you open it, this is the file that will open and it has all these include ESP8266 Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi multi, HTTP client, Wi-Fi client. Do not worry, once you install the driver the way that I shown you, everything will be included and they are already there so you don't need to do anything so this is creating from that multi uh, it's creating an instance of it and we call it wi-fi multi and inside the serial monitor the serial monitor is started with 115,200. you can change it but when you open your serial monitor it must be the same value and then it just creates three extra line and here it just uh, displays a number between zero, uh, between four to one. So it prints, it says wait, and then one, four, three, two, one. It's just fancy. After that, the Wi-Fi mode. 
we use add access point and this is the URSS ID and this is the password I just change this every time I record a video so this is my Wi-Fi password at the moment and this is SSID and the loop will continuously do this if the connection happens HTTP client is initialized Wi-Fi client is initialized and it prints HTTP begin and it sends a request to this this is by default included with a code so it goes to this page let me show you copying it paste it pasting it here and this is the page that uh, the response will be sent but because uh, Arduino does not have a browser it's just a serial monitor you will not be able to see, to see the image you will not be able to see this different size of text you will be able to see something like this without this line this is from my antivirus the rest will be seen like this it's uploaded the code has been uploaded 100% now let me open the serial monitor wait for a few seconds because it restarts and if you see here begin get or if I reset this you will see it says 4 3 2 1 and uh, let me stop it so you can see what it has sent it says, it says that begin get it sends get method and then code 200 after that this is the page let me show you this was the page that we were receiving and this is the code that we have received created with press, and you see all of that so the text that was there we are getting it now in a serial monitor and the code 200 is this if you see it at the W3 OK means 200 so there are other codes so that, that's why this is OK and this code is such that uh, it, run con it runs continuously every few seconds in this line this is this can be just a page or this can be a request also sending a data for this address you're sending a number 532 something so that means information is sent so we are going to replace this with a DDAS server URL which has been just launched except I've created main URL here and this is DDAS.cc and node mcu01.php like that so this is the URL and this question mark means a parameter is being sent so after this there are parameters and I put here user after that this will come user equal Ahmad 22 and then float temperature 45.3 and we want to send this uh, data user equal Ahmad user is Ahmad 22 and temperature is 45 degrees and the type is JSON we want to respond get the respond back as JSON so we have these three now I put them together in one line in here so we said main URL that was the main address plus so we put plus and they put another variable this this types user is equal Ahmad 22 and then after that we put ampersand temperature equal and then we put temperature and type equal the type variable let's change the type variable here for now I'm putting here K and save and upload and upload it let me open this okay so let me stop this so you can see it the code is respond is 200 and here it says node mcu test and it's now doing it again welcome to ddas.cc user is ahmad 22 temperature is 
0.3 so it responds back and we can do other things this is HTML this is better to be viewed in browser let me show you so this was a text that you just saw and I've sent Ahmed here it's Ahmed 55 and temp temperature is 98.3 and then the type is equal K or nothing and now now our server will respond user inside the double quotation and then colon colon means this is the key and this is the value and then comma another key and value and you can respond with so many ways so it's it's just responding I will create separate video actually changing uh, or turning on and off something with this but for now let's just change it to J and upload it now I'm respond making it J so this time we get JSON now let's open the serial monitor and here the server responded user I'm at 22 and temperature 45.3 and these are the values that I just sent continuously Thank you for watching. This was how to get started with Node MCU ESP8266 microcontroller Wi Fi module. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I always try to answer and reply. And if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now.